Well, a lot has been made of the signs of life in the commodity markets, but one key commodity has been left out of the recent price ra rally. It's coal. King coal, it seems, remains in trouble. The push to tackle climate change and pollution, plus an enormous global oversupply keeping prices crushed. Even the mighty are feeling the pressure. The world's biggest coal miner, America's Peabody Energy, may have to resort to Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. And now there are warnings the pending glut of LNG could be a hammer blow for coal. Sue Lannan reports. Peabody Energy has been a powerhouse of the global coal industry, the world's biggest coal miner. Two, two years ago, it was pushing coal as a solution to energy poverty. We've got three and a half billion people globally that don't have access to electricity. We've got half the children in the developing world that go to school with zero electricity. Now Peabody is facing its own type of poverty, possible bankruptcy. Its takeover of Australia's MacArthur Coal in 2011 helped settle it with debt. When your only commodity drops by 60% in the space of five years, you have a serious problem. When you add financial leverage, you've got a financial leverage problem on top of an operating problem. So it's the double whammy of entering a downturn fully leveraged. Major credit ratings agency Fitch Ratings and Moody's have warned that Peabody is on the verge of default, with its corporate bonds rated as junk. It owes just over 10 billion US dollars. Its total assets are worth just a bit more than that. Their own creditors are saying they would actually prefer the company to go into Chapter 11 and deal with the entire Chapter 11 process formally and in the interests of all vested interests equally. The price of coal has fallen by more than half over the past five years because of oversupply. Goldman Sachs says around one quarter of US coal is produced by companies that have filed for bankruptcy. Big miners like Anglo-American have sold mines and even BHP Billiton lost money on its coal division. One third of coal mines in Queensland are operating at a loss. We expect the thermal coal price um to be trading down towards uh, $50 a tonne in, in the Pacific Basin and then trending over time uh, we will expect to see around $40 a tonne in the medium term. China's demand for coal has dropped as the country seeks to cut pollution. The single most important factor is the slowdown and transformation of the Chinese economy. Uh, without doubt that is driving both the coking coal markets and the thermal coal markets globally. China's slowdown is not the only headwind for coal. The push for renewable energy and pledges to take action against climate change have taken their toll. Some global investors have sold off their fossil fuel stocks amid a wave of divestment. In Australia too, investors are rethinking their strategy because of global warming. We will certainly be looking to invest in companies that are involved in, in clean energy one of the world's biggest fund managers dismisses divestment. But Aberdeen Asset Management is no fan of coal stocks. We, we worry about coal as a business, um, uh, so it's not a business that excites us in particular. The pending oversupply of LNG and the collapse in the oil price are even bigger threats to the future of coal. Coal is facing pressures on a number of angles. Um, in terms of uh, competition, particularly into that key Asian market. LNG is probably the latest one, and that's the one that can offer a bit of a hammer blow if you want to the coal price. He says it's unlikely that new projects like Adani's planned Carmichael mine in Queensland will ever be built. At the current time, we, we don't see that project as viable. Um, uh, the infrastructure investment needed for that uh, uh, would not really generate the, the returns that the coal price we're looking for in the medium term. The International Energy Agency says coal markets are under tremendous pressure. The coal and gas markets uh, today, there's a downturn in the market. And uh, I wanted to uh, underline uh, my colleagues in Australia that this downward is uh, real. It may be with us uh, for some time. But coal miners are still talking up coal's prospects. Now's not the time to um, get out of businesses when prices are the lowest. Now's the time to double down on costs, make sure we're disciplined on capital expenditure, look for opportunities to, to grow. But staying in business means more oversupply and even lower prices.